Hi, good day to all. So, welcome to our first Guidance Office webinar. Uh, our topic for today is about bullying. So, before we start to our main topic, which is bullying, let's listen first to Ma'am Danica Joy Pakatang for the eye care rules. These five eye care rules must be memorized by our students. So, here it is. So, before we move to our main topic for today's webinar, I would like to introduce first to you our eye care rules. So, it is the best thing that you can do each day is to remember our eye care rules because they work not just only inside but also outside of our school and at home. So, let's just jump in to our first eye care rules. First eye care rule is we listen to each other. For example, somebody in your family is asking you to do something or talking to you. So we need to listen to them, especially if it is our family members, our parents, and our siblings. And eye care rule number two, hands are for helping, not hurting. So we use our hands to extend help especially to our family and friends and to other people who needed it. And eye care rule number three, we use eye care language. So very important that whatever comes in our mouth, we need to know if it is good or bad or it may hurt other people or it may help other people. So very careful for whatever you say to them. So, I care rule number four. We care about each other's feelings. So, how can we show our care to them? So, we can show our care with other people by listening to them, helping them, and using kind languages or words. And the last one is, we are responsible for what we say and do. So, always remember Think first before saying anything or think first before doing anything. And always remember that if it may help other people or it may hurt them. So this is our I care rules that we need to remember each day. So first is we listen to each other. The second is hands are for helping, not hurting. And number three, we use I care language. Number four, we care about others. We care about each other's feeling. And number five, we are responsible for what we say and do. So, next slide that we have is our I care statement. So we can use this statement when we are communicating with our friends, to our family, and to other people. So number one is say the person's name so when we're calling our friends or our family members we say their names if their name is john anna marie we need to use their names when we're calling them or we're when we are talking to them number two at your statement is say how you feel say how you feel if you feel upset or sad you tell them so that they can understand what is happening and number three is, tell what happened to make you f that makes you feel that way. So tell your family or your parents, if you feel upset or sad, you tell them why. Why do you feel that way? So that they can understand you. And number four, say what you would like to happen next time. Because it may help them your parents or the other people around you to understand you even more and also will help you so this is our i care statement another slide we have is our i care language so we can use this languages um, every day if we communicate other people also our friends our family at home at school so example is this are Thank you. Saying thank you. Saying thank you if you receive something or you're asking something that gives you favor, we say thank you. Number two is 
we say please when we're asking someone to give us some favor or asking someone to get something for us we say please to them number three eye care language is may i help you are you okay by this you are showing them that you care with your friends you care to your friends you care to your family you care for your parents by saying this i care language and number five is saying excuse me and i am sorry if you have done something wrong or you've done something that is may hurt other people you say i am sorry to make them feel that you understand them and you feel what they feel so you say i am sorry so this is our i care language so next our steps to good listening so in communicating with other people with our friends and family we need to look at each other when we're talking because so that that person will know that you are listening to them number two is only one person talks at a time we cannot talk both at the same time because we cannot understand each other if that's so and number three steps in good listening is repeat the other person says and number four ask questions if you don't understand so this is our steps of good listening so again what's our i care rules is we listen to each other hands are for helping not hurting and we use our i care language and we care about each other's feeling and we are responsible for what we say and do so let's remember this every day so thank you and let's go to our main okay thank you very much mom danica so now we will start with our main topic which is bullying okay so have you ever been bullied or are you the one who is bullying your classmates or uh, your friends or other people so let's find out more about bullying uh, but always remember here in our school in the Mga Chongwa high school we have the child protection policy for the acts of bullying here in our student handbook still it it will be applied kasi handbook pa rin natin ito okay so now bullying so as you can see the picture it speaks of bullying so bullying is never okay it's hurtful and can impact someone for a long time remember you're not alone there are people who can talk to and things you can do to stop bullying so please speak up or if you're very shy or ashamed of what is happening to you especially itong bullying you can send your private message to us uh, to your guidance officers or we're very much willing to help and to assist you so remember you're not alone okay what is bullying by the way so it's more than a f just a fight or disliking someone it's being mean to someone over and over again Bullying is an ongoing or repeated misuse of power in relationships with the intention to cause deliberate or you may purpose for psychological harm. Bullying behaviors can be verbal, physical, or social. Bullying can happen anywhere, kahit saan naman pwede, sa bahay, at home, online, with friends, in a group, or on the bus, or at school, kahit saan. Pwede siyang mangyari. Okay, we have here the types of bullying. So first, there are many different types of bullying. So we have here the verbal. 
So, verbal, name calling, teasing, putting someone's down, threatening to cause someone harm. So, name calling. So, this usually happens. Sometimes, our first name, we add another uh, another funny funny thing or funny names din sa so surname. So, you, you know that. Uh, you can see your classmates being bullied or kayo nang bubuli, especially sa name calling. Teasing. Paulit-ulit, ay, mataba, mataba, ganun-ganun. So, any other uh, other pa comments or teasing? Putting someone's down, threatening to cause someone's harm. Okay, another type is the physical. Poking, hitting, punching, kicking, spitting, tripping, or pushing someone's, yung parang para matumba siya. Breaking someone's thing, fooling paces, or making rude hand signal. So, it's very clear for the physical. Okay, another is social. So, pag sa social, so you are uh, lying, spreading of rumors, playing horrible jokes, leaving someone's out on purpose. Yung pinasama mo, oh, punta tayo sa canteen, and then on the... Nag nagkuha na kayo na, na connive ka na sa mga classmates mo or sa friends, ibang friends mo na pagdating doon sa canteen, you will leave him or her bigla lang yung without her knowing or her him, uh, him knowing you do that so yun, with purpose, leaving someone out on purpose or gusto mo lang talaga siya mapahiya Embar embarrassing someone in public so that's for the social spreading rumors, we know that so, puro lies puro lying Puro storya, storya lang. Okay, another is, another type of bullying is cyberbullying. So, with the use of technology, uh, to someone, uh, to hurt someone else by sending hurtful messages, pictures, or comments. So, cyber yan dyan, kasi you, you're using your mga technologies, kung ano man, mga social media ninyo accounts. Okay, why do people pala bully others? Bakit ba? So, let's find out. There are lots of reasons why someone might bully others. Whatever the reason, bullying is never okay. So, may mga reasons yan. Let's find out. Okay? Someone who bullies another person might, yung nagbubully, feel jealous. So, siguro, jealous siya kasi... Yung iba meron or yung target niya, kompleto. So, in, in, in other aspects, siguro matalino or shy type man, pero mabait, yung ganon. So, jealous. Nagsiselos. Want others to like them. So, syempre, pag matapang ka, uy, astig. Matapang siya. So, kaya mambubuli siya. So, kaya-kaya mo lang talaga yung iba. One other. So, pag, ma, pag matapang ka, strong yung personality mo. Ah, so, yung ibang mga classmates mo or your friends, sa'yo, sasama. Or they will look up to you. Ganon. Want to feel better about themselves. So, sometimes, kung may napapa, ano to, may ginagawa kang na the other people can be hurt, yung parang masaya ka. You feel better. So, that's not a, a good sign. If you're happy seeing someone who is being hurt or not hurt because of you, that, that's not a, a, a good sign. Okay. Want to fit in with, with their classmate. It would depend if meron silang mga pinag-uusapan or, or para join ka sa group or group of bullies yun sila so you want to join with them so gawin mo din to, kaya mo din to so because you're doing kaya gagawin mo yung pambubuli you want to fit with your friends okay feel angry inside so we don't know what are you ano to, struggling, struggling ba sa self mo sa inner self mo, may, may galit ka. So, yung galit mo, nilalabas mo sa ibang tao. So, you bully other people. Okay. Another is, you like to be in control of or have power over others. 
So, gusto mo ikaw lang ang magaling, ikaw lang yung matapang, ikaw lang yung correct. So, you overpower them. So, ako lang. Uh, ako lang talaga. So, may suggestion sila, ganun. Dina-down mo or pinapakita mo na ikaw lang talaga ang matapang or ikaw, kaya mo lang talaga. So, over them. You like to control them. Okay, have been bullied themselves. Might be these people who are bullying, they're also being bullied before or sa past. Nabully din sila. Uh, depende kung sa bahay, sa neighborhood, uh, within their relatives, sa mga cousins, or sa, sa school din ba, before, nabully, nabully, nabully siya. So, ngayon, ini-exhibit niya yung mga behaviors na na-experience niya. Okay. Not know what they're doing is wrong. So, hindi mo alam <laughs> that what you're doing is wrong. So, definitely, at this uh, age, junior high school, grade 7 to senior high, most probably you know what is right and wrong. Okay? Kahit grade uh, 5, grade 6, we are being introduced na ah, ito anak, mali. So, ito yung tama. Teasing other people, uh, hurting other people is very wrong. Ever since, hindi siya naging tama. Okay? Kahit nga teasing, everyday we tease our friends, no? But remember, not always on the right mood yung tao. Hindi tayo kahapon masaya tayo, so hindi ibig sabihin ngayon masaya din ta tayo. So, the, the, the person is, uh, hindi mo kilala what, uh, hindi mo alam what he or she is feeling right now. So, you have to be very careful. Even, ay ma'am, always ko naman siya tinitiis. So, that's why. Always mo siyang tinitiis, but this time around, hindi siya nasa, wala siya sa good mood niya. So, might be the person also is struggling. So, kaya, nagagalit. Kaya, nagkakaroon ng misunderstanding. Okay? That's why, we have to be very careful, especially, about teasing. Kasi minsan, kinokonote ninyo na, ah, always ko naman siya mam tinitiis. So, hindi ganyan. Okay? You have to be sensitive enough with the feelings of other people. So, next. Okay, bullying can be very hurtful and cause a lot of pain. You may... Okay, so yung mga nabully, na yung mga nabully natin, ma... Uh, Siyempre, they will have a lot of pain and hurt. Na hurt din talaga sila. So, they may experience this. Ito pag severe na din talaga, ha? The others here. So, have trouble sleeping. So, kahit hindi naman severe, pero siyempre, one, two, nabully ka. So, siyempre, iniisip mo yan gabi-gabi. So, have trouble concentrating. So, hindi ka din concentrate kasi you feel ay bakit ako ginaganyan bakit ako ginaganito I didn't do anything to them so yan, hindi ka makakoncentrate hindi ka makatulog okay. find it hard to cope kasi syempre kahapon tinis ka, hindi mo pa na, 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 na overcome yung pambubuli or pang titis nila sa'yo, meron na naman so hindi ka na talaga makakope you find it hard, makakope ka man pero you find it hard feel suicidal. Ito, this one, yung severe na talaga. Okay? So, that's why we are calling the attention um, yung mga bullied to please speak up and those who are bullying other kids, other students, please stop. Feel physical sick. Physically sick. So, syempre, pag na-bullied na ka, parang Masakit na lang ang ulo, ang chan, ano-ano na. Feel alone, sad, angry, or confused. Lose your appetite, hindi na makakain. Feel down about yourself. Have thoughts of hurting yourself. So, gaya nga nang sabi ko, this one is sa severe na talaga. Have trouble with schoolwork. Siyempre, you, you cannot concentrate. You cannot do your schoolwork also. 
feel hopeless or powerless. Kasi syempre, with the uh, sa school set up, ma matapang talaga ang bully. Feel unsafe or afraid. So, all those things. What do you do if you're being bullied? There's always something you can do. So, here are some ideas. Keep your distance from bully, from bullying, from the bully. Don't bully them back. Talk to an adult you trust. Talk, uh, take time to do something nice to yourself. Tell them what they are doing is not okay. Have someone help you can report uh, cyberbullying or assault or bullying. Okay, yun. Everyone needs a support team. If you're being bullied, it's really important to talk to someone you trust. We're always here to help. Give us a call or start sending a private message to us. So, please, we encourage you to, to send us a message. If you're uh, uh, really ashamed to share, please find, uh, find time to talk to us. So, that would be all. And... Thank you very much. And we'd like also to express our gratitude to Kids Helpline for having this ano to, bullying uh, informations. So thank you very much and have a nice day.